hello my friends welcome back to another video if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by my name is jed and i am the eager vlogger i hope you are all having a lovely start of the week i think you will see this on a monday it's kind of like my eager monday and fun fact this is our 100 video i can't believe that i've already created 100 videos in here and i can still remember the very first one i did i like really thought and i was really scared of uploading that because i don't know if anyone would watch and as of today we are actually 400 something friends here in youtube already it actually is mind-blowing so for our 100 video i thought it is quite fitting to unstuff our first set of the 100 envelopes challenge so if you saw um my instagram shorts i'm sorry instagram reels and my youtube shorts i think that's the only time or the that's the only place that i kind of share that much about this challenge um, i don't really do a separate video for it all the time I just show you like snippets of me stuffing it and then we add it towards the budget. This is for our car savings or buying our first car here in Canada. And for me, uh, for our family at least, since we are low income right now, I started, we started last year um, here in Canada. I'm a student, so I don't have full-time job. It's only my partner who um, earns for us majority of the time i do have a side income or i call it my side hustle but it's like my self-employment um side hustle if you will um, which just brings a couple of hundreds every month uh, and serves mostly my allowance so um yeah we're pretty like in the low range income because of course my priorities are our fixed expenses and our daughter's um, needs so these kinds of challenges are it could be overwhelming because it's 100 envelopes and you save each number of the envelope like the same amount as the number of the envelope so i'm pretty sure i wouldn't be able to stuff those big amounts like the 90s the 80s even the 50s above i wouldn't be able to stuff that envelope every time so i created my strategy to do 25 envelopes at a time so this is 1 to 25 and because i am in canada we don't have those one dollar bill i don't stuff coins so what i did is i rounded up the the numbers or the amount so for envelope one it's five dollars and so on like everything is rounded up so let's unstuff this let's see how much we actually saved on for, on these envelopes and then we will um, fill out our trackers in our tracker we will start from the very bottom which is one the hundreds and then we will fill in as is like how much we had here so that would help me uh, save up the 100 envelope challenge without the big amounts on my way if you are understanding actually what i'm babbling about but yeah you'll see how we do it as we go along this video so i hope you'll join me as we unstuff this and we track it this is our first set of 25 envelopes out of our 100 envelope challenge so stick around Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, so like I said, this is just 25 envelopes, but they are rounded up amounts. And um, if you're curious, I just created these envelopes from my leftover designer papers I got from the dollar store. So if you look at them closely, it's not even perfect. Like the camera is actually not picking it up, but like there's... I just taped the sides and the bottom of this so nothing fancy and as you can see i just wrote the number like you can even understand what number is that probably 
but this is what works for me so let's start like i'm gonna stuff this real quick and then it's going to be messy here and then we'll just count at the very end so let me fast forward this a little bit for you guys all right look at that friends we have a bunch of cash in here and i'm doing this also like this way um 20 only stuffing 25 envelopes at a time because i'm i don't want to keep a, a lot of cash at home so these amounts that we're unstuffing right now will go straight to our high yield savings account and then um i'm just gonna use the tracker that we will fill in later to let me know that we actually have that amount already saved um, i'm not gonna change it or replace these with any placeholders or whatnot um, we'll just go as is so i'm moving this to the side let's just prop the money up here and then later we'll count so the only downside for this kind of um, stuffing is you fold the money and i'm not really a big fan of that that folding money although i have my a7 wallet and i love using that and playing around with those small envelopes as well but i guess it's fine um because with these bills i find that yes they fold easily because i think it's plastic but when i like i just put it back to the envelope even if i just put it back to my envelopes i don't i don't need to like put heavy things on top of it it goes back to normal pretty easily as well so if i just stuff it into one of my envelopes and close my binder and probably have a book or something on top of it tomorrow all of these bills will be almost good as new so my plan is um because we've also received our first paycheck of the month like aside from the magic paycheck so technically it's the second paycheck but i'm considering it like just the first paycheck because the first first paycheck that we received was actually our magic paycheck the magic month so yeah we've received that money uh, but i haven't withdraw it yet so what i'm thinking is if this is enough to uh, this is enough for the amount that we will withdraw for our first paycheck then i don't need to i'll just move that money to our savings account and this will be the uh, bills that we will use to cash stuff on our next video because i think we'll have enough here most of our income especially for those regular paychecks that we receive monthly um i think half of it of definitely goes to bills and i don't really stuff big amounts towards our sinking funds i try to prioritize debt payments for now so sometimes i just need to withdraw 200 for the sinking fund so i don't really need to withdraw a lot i think this would suffice oh gosh okay we're almost there i feel like i want to fix this money but let's just do it faster this is so exciting my last video uploaded was a cash stuffing of our magic paycheck and my va side hustle for my va side hustle because we had that extra paycheck this month i didn't really need to contribute a lot of that va side hustle income towards our um, budget so we were able to boost our sinking funds with that amount with that money and I am so happy that we were able to do that for this month. It will hopefully help us 
kind of like have a head start like a better start towards our sinking funds for the whole year so it's very very helpful okay stop fixing it it will be fixed next time so let's calculate how much we actually saved up for this challenge let's start with the 20s so 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 so we have 200s in 20s oh clap plus and 20s in tens I mean, $20 in tens, and then a lot of five, because these are the usual, like I usually stuff $5 at a time for my savings challenges and whatnot, the easiest amount that I can put on my envelopes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95, 100. Wow, we 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 40, 5, 65. Is that right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50 all 55. So in total, for our 25 envelopes rounded up amounts, we were able to save 375. Amazing. So I cannot wait to restart our second round or second set of 25 envelopes for our, 20, for our 100 envelopes challenge. So now let's get our tracker. So for my 100 envelope challenge, again, we are using this money um, for our car savings, our first car here in Canada. And for that, I am using my finance tracker from Tricky Budgets. Um, I will have her link down below as you always. You will see my links. You will see the links of the things that I use if I got it from other people um, down in the description every time I use them. So for this tracker, um, my finance planner or budget planner is from my friend Tricky Budgets. And it, part of this is the 100 envelope challenge tracker. So I filled this out. Uh, I don't remember when. <laughs> when I, I think when I started doing the 100 envelope challenge and I was thinking of doing it like the usual way. But then, yeah, I realized I really couldn't go past this anymore. So it's harder. So what I'm going to do, since these are already colored in, no, I think I'm just going to leave this out for now. We will know that the amount or the trackers fully filled in if I'm coloring the pig and the coin. So we will start the very bottom because then later as we go up it will be way easier for us so how much money did i tell you again 375 of course we will start with our 100 envelope here so exciting this would be out of the way now wow i think is this the right yellow to use okay i like that all right our first envelope 100 so minus 100 and then definitely i can do 99 let's see i haven't actually planned which envelopes i'm filling in right now like today i'm just going with the flow like you guys 99 another 100 or 98 let's see okay we're going to do the 98 and then the 77 oh 78 sorry so that would be our first four big envelopes 78 and if you're wondering like it's 
this is a savings challenge usually i don't budget for my savings challenges except for the car fund so i have a sinking fund category for our car fund and i use that to bump up this challenge so i still put leftover monies from our weekly budget towards this uh, this challenge i split it between some of my savings challenges and this but i also budget for the car fund for the 100 envelope challenge just so we can finish it of course and that is it oh i couldn't be happier with that so that would be the start of our 100 envelope stay tuned as we stuff another set of our 25 envelopes in here we will just keep going until we finish this and my goal for this is until um end of this year until hopefully not very very end of this year before the next winter comes we'll be able to have our car to go around because it's so hard to commute during winter and we're even lucky this year that the winter was not so bad um so i just couldn't imagine ourselves doing it when the actual negative 40 arrives so no way and yeah all right and that is it my friends for our video for today i hope you stayed with me until the very end if you are interested to follow me along my financial journey my family's financial journey and here on youtube is my passion project if you are interested please um, don't forget to subscribe consider subscribing to my channel and comment down below what are the things that you would like to see more here i would be happy to know and we can let's see if we can do it right <laughs> so thank you again for watching i'll see you again on the next one Bye, friends.